Will, you were uh, you were second on the, in the IM after the first leg, then fourth, then second, and brought it home first. Was there uh, one particular uh, leg that was problematic for you, or is it all just about winning? Not too much, honestly. Uh, I haven't seen any race footage. I actually just looked at splits for the first time, but I think 200 IM short course is one of those races where you just kind of got to go from the beginning. So I, I'd say I'm pretty happy with all four of my legs. And, and what about that <coughs> relay leg at the end, 50.7? Yeah, I, I was thrilled with that. Um, just I think each year I'm just kind of getting better at the hundred breaststroke. It's usually been one that uh, kind of had to learn how to do it a little better each year. I haven't been too great at it compared to my two hundred, but, but yeah, I'll, I'll take that any day <laughs> for sure. As the uh, Longhorns go forward, four wins tonight uh, from a team standpoint. I know you're a leader now. That this is, I think, uh, maybe your fourteenth. All-American uh, position, and um, what's that mean to you as a team leader? Uh, looking like a pretty good result at the end of Saturday night. It means a whole lot, you know. I don't do any of this for myself. I mean, I have the greatest teammates in the world, and just try to do as much as I can to help, you know, light up our uh, tower in Austin with the number one at the end of the day. So, just whatever I can do to help them out. Not so much for myself, but for them. How much does it mean, like, or how much does it get the momentum going when you guys just keep winning one after the other events? Oh, it helps a lot. I mean, it started off with that 800 free relay on Wednesday. That was just unbelievable. I mean, that was probably one of the coolest relays I've ever witnessed. And then uh, kicking it off with the 200 free relay tonight, and, and uh, you know, just to kind of show that I feel like a lot of people underestimate our sprint group, and just to kind of show, like, hey, you know, we're the real deal. So that got me fired up for sure. And then, you know, having a guy like Brett Ringgold swimming the 53 four I think five times today, and just he's thrown down on every single one of them, just to kind of show that toughness really helps everyone out. Yeah. What are you looking forward to in the next couple of days? In, uh, do you have a favorite race that you're really pointing to uh, as you start to wind down your career here? I'm fine with all three. I mean, uh, I've always kind of been a fan of the 200 breaststroke, but you know, I'll take both IMs as well. And uh, you know, just got to get ready to race each one of them. I mean, today was great, but just got to get back to work and just focus on tomorrow. And then Saturday after that, got to take it one race at a time. Well, you're defending national champ in the 200 breast. Uh, do you have a time behind in your mind? No, sir. I'm actually not too much of a time guy. I'm, you know, just kind of getting my mind, you know, how to swim the race. And I feel like if I do that properly, the race will take care of itself, or the time will. So, yeah, sorry. I don't have a time goal in mind. Are there any technical things that you've really worked on hard this year? I'd say getting stronger and uh, not rushing my stroke too much. I've actually been working on the 100 a little more. Uh, I think that showed a little bit tonight, having uh, the best 100 split I've ever had. But uh, yeah, just finding ways to improve all the time, whether it's, I guess, right now, you know, endurance and training wise and strength for sure. Anything else for Will? Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Thanks.